Hi, my name is Jonathan Smythe. I'm a member of the Shea Global team. Today's quick tips and tricks session is covering a variety of the new features within uh, the latest release of Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. So we'll start off by having a look at the new views feature, and then we will move into the group by feature, and then the totals feature. And I'll use a couple of different forms just so that we can get a feel for the new functionality. So let's go to work. So here we are within Dynamics 365. So what I'm going to do is to select the menu icon and then select all sales orders. All of the sales orders that have ever been entered onto the system are displayed. So in this example, let's say for example, we're just interested in the sales orders that have been delivered but not yet invoiced. So we hit the drop down, and in the filter here, we say is exactly delivered. We select apply and the system filters for us and shows just those sales orders that have a status of delivered so that we know that these are just awaiting invoice. Now there's some new functionality here that allows us to move these uh, columns around. So if you hover around one of the columns, you'll see the four little dots and you can drag the column uh, and place it wherever you uh, require within the grid itself. This is a new area, so where we can see standard view, this is where we can create our own brand new views. So if we hit the drop down and we select Save As, then we can say that this is actually going to be called Delivered Not Yet Invoiced. And let's just copy that, paste it into the description. And then we can choose to pin this as our default view. So if I select Yes and select Save, we'll see that we've got a brand new view now, which is Delivered Not Invoiced. But if I hit the drop down, I can return to the standard view. And you can see also that the system is remembering the column sequences as well. So if I've created a bespoke view with my columns in a certain order, then by selecting my view, the system changes the order of the various different columns uh, as necessary. From time to time, you might decide that you'd like to uh, share this view with various different colleagues in the business. And to do that is pretty straightforward. We hit the drop down on our new view and we can click the three dots and then we can choose to personalize or publish. Now, sometimes as I have done, you create views that uh, maybe you are no longer useful. So what you may want to do is to drop into manage my views. Then across here, you've got the ability to rename or to select the view that is no longer of use. Hit the three dots, click remove, and your view will be removed. Now the second part of the presentation was focusing on the ability to sort and group with totals uh, in certain forms. And so for this part of the presentation, I'll hit the menu and I will select Invoice Journal. Once the Invoice Journal form has loaded, we can see that we've got uh, all of the various different invoices based upon the various different transaction dates uh, and currencies. So for this demonstration, what I'd like to do is to sort the invoices and group them based upon currency. So it's really simple. We come along to the currency column header, right click, group by this column, and the system will then group by that specific value. So we can see Euro invoices, US dollar invoices, and perhaps further down the list, Sterling invoices. Now I'd like a total in there as well. Uh, and the way to get that is very, very simple. We come along to the, the value field that we would like to filter or the grouping for, and where it says invoice amount, right click, total of this column. We get a dialog whilst the system is just calculating the various different totals and I think in this example I've probably got around about uh, 700 rows uh, but in a second or two we will see the totals that have been calculated. Now I may have used my magic wand uh, to create uh, a, a slightly shortened version of that calculation but what we can see is various different calculations available at the top and the bottom. So we can see at the top 109,000 and then at the bottom that same total calculation. So all that remains is for me to say thank you very much for watching our demonstration today. And uh, if we can be of assistance uh, in any way, then please don't hesitate to drop us an email at businessbetter at shayglobal.com. Thank you. Have a good day.